Hi, Albert here with Mainland Cycle Center. Today we're going to take a look at the all new 2016 Kawasaki ZX10R. This is in the matte uh, carbon gray. This is this bike is equipped with ABS. But uh, you know, at first look, this bike doesn't look hugely different from the previous ZX10R. The side cowling, the tank, all of that area looks very similar. The seat, uh, the frame. Uh, the front fairing definitely can see some differences in there and the tail section. Uh, and then the muffler is a little more compact and smaller. I really dig the look of the rear muffler on it. But uh, boy, did they make a lot of changes on this bike. It is really not much at all that is the same. One of the things you'll notice right off is this uh, green anodized deal sticking off of the fork. So this has a new fork from Showa. It's called... I'm going to mess it up, but I think it's called a BFF or Balance Free Fork or something like that. Uh, but the what they're doing with this little canister here is there's nitrogen gas in here that uh, helps to uh, give you a more even pressure throughout the shock, which makes the shock work better, be more dependable and predictable in there. And then, of course, you'll notice the Brembo brake calipers, so the M50. Uh, race spec Brembo brake calipers. These are four piston Rayleigh mounted calipers and these are a monoblock caliper so made out of one piece of aluminum as opposed to two pieces of aluminum bolted together and you've got those Brembo's no, I've got a Nissan on the back excuse me uh, and then, but it does have the Brembo front brake master cylinder so Brembo's on the front a Nissan in the back um, motor wise what did they do to these what didn't they do um, the crankshaft is now about a pound lighter than it was before. Uh, they also lightened up the countershaft, the counterbalancer shaft, the counterbalancer. Uh, increased the mass on the flywheel a little bit. Uh, bigger, straighter intake ports. Um, lighter camshafts. The camshafts are now a forged uh, chromoly steel uh, billet. A camshaft as opposed to a cast camshaft uh, which makes them lighter and stronger about half a pound lighter on those camshafts new long reach spark plugs in these so the spark plugs uh, are longer which lets them give a more of a cooling a water jacket on top of the head uh, for better cooling to the head and then the exhaust on these this is a titanium alloy exhaust as opposed to a pure titanium exhaust the titanium alloy actually has better heat resistant resistance which lets them make the, these thinner and lighter and then they also say that these headers are very similar in length and shape and size to the race spec headers so titanium alloy very close to race spec headers I really think I'd have a hard time changing those headers for any reason at all <coughs> excuse me on one of these bikes Kawasaki reassigned it so that you would leave that header maybe if you're racing add a race slip onto it and you'd be done as far as exhaust is concerned but uh, so uh, lots of changes uh, in there in the motor the the lighter crankshaft one pound lighter on the crankshaft half a pound out of the cams uh, the lighter counterbalancer shaft just lots going on in there uh, these of course are a six-speed transmission these also have now are equipped with a quick shifter and so this little uh, piece right here is the actual uh, the sensor for the quick shifter and basically the quick shifter is going to allow you to do a full throttle shift uh, without pulling the clutch so clutch is throat full throttle uh, shifting which is really a pretty cool feature I have it on my uh, h2 and uh, it's really cool I also have it on my track day bike my ZX6R track day bike but I've really come to like the quick shifter quite a bit uh, let's see what else there's lots to do I know I'm gonna forget something uh, these also have a cassette type transmission so uh, so if you recently heard about some of the Yamaha guys with the R1s the new R1 M models that they had a recall on the transmission they're having to completely tear down those guys motors remove the motor from the frame completely split the cases in order to perform that recall on your brand new uh, motorcycle and that stinks that's not very good but uh, on the Kawasaki's you have a cassette type transmission so what is a cassette type transmission that means that if you were to remove this clutch cover and remove the clutch then there would be a plate back there with some bolts in the transmission will pull right out the side of this motor so very easy to perform gear changes if you're racing um, 
to change gearing changes for different tracks uh, and also if you need to make a repair much easier to do so uh, really love that cassette transmission uh, also lots of new electronics on this bike uh, uses the new Bosch I think it's called IMU um, uh, geez, I already forgot what it stands for, but they're using this new Bosch module that can, that monitors the inertia of the motorcycle on five different axes: uh, longitudinal acceleration, pitch, yaw, roll. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And then Kawasaki is using their own software then to take those readings from that Bosch IMU and and using their own program then to react or to um, tell the traction control what to allow and not to allow and so uh, very very cool stuff I'm motorcycle nerdy and I'm still there's a lot to absorb on this motorcycle but uh, very very cool the things they're doing uh, traction control now on this bike now has five different uh, settings as opposed to the three uh, so more race settings in them power modes so you've got full power mid power and low power on these uh, low power is going to reduce power by, uh, oh, I think it's around 50%. Uh, really, display is very similar to the previous Model ZX-10. Looks identical from here. I'm not looking at them side by side. Red line is at 14,000 RPMs. Uh, this bike is not serviced, so I'm not going to be able to turn it on for you. But it has this really nice LCD, uh, LED rather, uh, tachometer. Very easy to read. I had a ZX-10 previously. Uh, before the H2 and uh, love the tack on there very easy to read uh, and then a digital display here of course with clock it does have gear position indicator as well as speedometer odometer uh, trip meters that stuff everything but a fuel gauge really but it does have a fuel warning light uh, so not a big deal uh, Olin's electronic steering dampener so the steering dampener is able to uh, uh, tighten under hard uh, D cell and hard X cell, it'll uh, stiffen up and then uh, it loosens up for uh, easier riding. And then, of course, you've got a lap timer built in. Uh, uh, this button will let you go through the traction control and power modes, turn signals, horn, all that normal stuff. Pass light on the front. Uh, the tank pad is standard. Uh, the tail light really looks cool, has a really nice look to it. Like I said, I really dig that. Uh, a little smaller more compact muffler and I'm trying to think here what else I'm missing because I know there's plenty literally there were 17 pages of new information on this bike that I printed off from Kawasaki and uh, just lots and lots to go by very high horsepower the highest performance uh, uh, the ZX 10 R we've ever had just absolutely incredible uh, what is going on with these motorcycles right now uh, the competition is really pushing everybody to go to their best has a new bigger air box with more volume which helps the low end power uh, new air filter with 1.6 times uh, more surface area and 40% uh, less restriction on that new air filter uh, this bike is equipped with with ABS has Kawasaki's Kibs or Kawasaki intelligent braking system uh, the traction control, they're calling the new traction control system the SKTRC, so Sport Kawasaki Traction Control. So Kawasaki does have a couple traction control systems, meaning the traction control system on this bike is not necessarily the same as the traction control system that we might use on the Concours or the ZX-6R or some of the other bikes. But uh, like I said, there's lots to talk about. I'm sure that I am forgetting something and... Uh, I'll continue to study more. We'll do more videos on these bikes as we get more of them in and as I become more familiar with them. But absolutely incredible. Beautiful bike. Just loving this thing. I said I'm kind of motorcycle nerdy, so bikes like this with all this technology just really uh, touches all of my buttons, and I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, that's a look at the 2016 Kawasaki ZX-10R. All right, we are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45. You can find us online at mainlandcyclecenter.com, by phone at 409-948-4969, and we would just love it. If you'd give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come by and see us in person here at Mainland Cycle Center, where we'd love to help any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.